dude. That's crazy. I've only been fishing for like five minutes. Oh my goodness. Today I am in the Western Maryland mountains once again, somewhere near the Savage Forest for a few days of fishing. I have two goals for this trip. The first one is to catch some smallmouth at the reservoir and the second is to catch some of those beautiful native brook trout. So that's what to expect for the next few days. On the first day though, I just got here and it's already about noon so it's a little bit of a late start. So I'm just gonna hit up the creek behind me and see if I can catch a trout to cook up tonight. Now I have to tr catch either a brown trout or a rainbow trout uh, because I can't keep any of the brookies around this area. I'm just gonna see if I can catch a rainbow, cook it up tonight and that's the first goal for day one. So let's just get to the creek and get started. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start heading upstream, fish upstream, see if I can find a trout. I have two setups today. This place is uh, artificial lures only, so I've got the old trusty spinner. And I also have a fly rod that I'll be trying for the first time for the first time. I've never done fly fishing before, but I thought I'd purchase a rod and give it a try. Last time I was here, I saw some trout by where the reservoir begins some pretty big rainbows which i'm assuming came down from this creek so i know there should be trout around man this place is very shallow there's barely any water here but this is like maybe six inches of water you know Ooh, you really have to be careful walking in these rocks they're very slippery Especially if you're alone like like I'm doing today Really watch your step make sure every step is a hundred percent last thing you want to do is twist an ankle and then have to Rescue yourself That and snakes and bears definitely watch out for bears, but I have my bear spray and my knife at the ready Ooh, this is why you should be careful. All right, let's give uh, let's give fly fishing a try. Uh, this is a brand new rod. It's a six 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 four weight, whatever that means. Now I have no idea what I'm doing, so don't expect uh, pro tips with this. I am very much learning fly fishing. My goodness. Just look at this place. It's breathtaking. All right, so it does seem like this uh, this creek is opening up a little bit, which is good. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Oh, there's one. Is this a rainbow? What is this? Please don't come off. This will be the first fish of the day. I think it's a trout. <laughs> come on, little trout. <laughs> I 
There you go, in the net. It's a beautiful rainbow trout. We're eating good tonight, boys. Wow. Uh, so there is the first fish of the trip. A gorgeous 11 inch rainbow. And this one is gonna be dinner. I'm gonna take this back to camp, cook it up and uh, make some delicious fish tacos. Super, super happy about this guy. <laughs> Give it a quick rinse. And then you have a delicious looking pink trout. This is gonna be really good. I cannot wait to eat this. So the reason why I think uh, there was a trout holding in this pool is because uh, it's a lot deeper than what I've seen uh, previously. It's the first like deep pool that I found. And uh, this uh, little waterfall here is uh, bringing a lot of oxygen into the water. So he was just holding there and now we've got dinner. Super happy about catching that fish. Uh, I'm not gonna keep going up because uh, it just doesn't seem like uh, it's gonna get any wider. As you can see, the, the stream is pretty shallow. And pools like that are gonna be hard to come by heading upstream. I've already got the fish that I wanted for today, so I'm gonna start heading back, put this fish on ice. Let's go make some fish tacos, baby. Woo! Living. Crawfish. I could catch a. Uh, I could probably catch a, a bunch of crawfish here and have them for dinner too. But you know, I think uh, the fish is gonna be enough. Just got back that was a very fun session i just put the fish on ice but now it's time to set up camp There wasn't gonna be much daylight left at this point. I had to hurry to cut the wood to make the fire before dark so I could cook the trout. gonna have some uh, mushrooms and onion with my fish I got the fire going all I have to do is uh, cut the mushrooms and the onions fillet the fish and cook them because I am getting very hungry time to fillet this uh, this beautiful fish. Thank you. 
that looks so good. I cannot wait to eat this. Alright guys, so it's the end of the day and I'm about to enjoy some delicious fish tacos. Cheers. I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy a delicious trout taco. Mmm. That is so good. Tomorrow, I'm gonna head to the reservoir and see if I can catch some smallmouth bass. So I've woken up in the mountains of Maryland today. I just made myself some breakfast and some coffee. And the plan is to go try and catch some smallmouth bass at the Savage Reservoir just behind me. It's a very gloomy day. It's raining at the moment, so I can't really launch right now. I'm just gonna have to wait out the rain. In the meantime, I'm just gonna have some breakfast, some coffee, and hopefully we can catch some smallmouth later. I'm just having some freeze-dried scrambled eggs with bacon. Pretty good. <sighs> Nothing like coffee in the morning. Alright, so it looks like I will have to walk my kayak down for the first hundred meters because the uh, water is way too shallow here to, to paddle with. Especially since we have these things to deal with. Seems like it's gonna get super shallow right there. This is uh, gonna be a little more difficult than I thought. Look, that's the usual level of the water line. It is super low, super low this year. Or I guess this season. <laughs> Look at where I'm launching, dude. It is a bitch and a half to traverse through. But just look at this place. So beautiful. Just a reservoir in the middle of a few mountains. Okay, I got about 100 yards left to this. All right, so nearly there. From all the way up there, just just dragging it. Cause, uh, that's the only way to launch here. Okay, we're clear. 
it's floating. Man, that took a lot of energy. I ripped my shoe. No, gonna have to get new water shoes. Okay, never thought I'd actually get to this point, but we're on the water, ready for a full day of fishing. It's about like, what was it, like 9.20? Let me just check the time real quick. Wow, 9.30, it took me 30 minutes to, to get from the top of the hill down here, just dragging the kayak. Okay, well, since we have uh, some overcast conditions right now, I am definitely going to start with the top water. I think I have a popper tied on. I think I'm just gonna start with that. Yeah, the Hula Popper 2.0. Uh, throwing straight braid today. 15 pound test, I think it is. All uh, right, it's very shallow here. Um, I don't really know what to expect from this river. This water is uh, on the cooler side. So I think I'm gonna just start up shallow here and see if we can find any fish here. There's a largemouth and smallmouth in here. So it's gonna be interesting to see if we can get on some fish today. This place is crazy. I specifically remember this place because look at how close these trees are to the cliff. They're basically growing on the cliff. Just look at that one. It's this crazy environment. That's a fish. That's a fish. <laughs> he was running with it. <laughs> fish number one of the day feels pretty good. <clears throat> oh, dude. I hope it's a smallmouth. Dude, that feels like a monster. I can't get him up. Oh, dude, that's a very good fish. That's a, that's a large mouth, I think, though. If it's a smallmouth, it's a very good smallmouth. Dude, that's crazy. I've only been fishing for like five minutes. Oh my goodness. Oh, there you go, got him. No, it's a smallmouth. It's actually one of the biggest smallmouth, if not the biggest smallmouth I've ever caught. That's crazy, bro. Look at that, that's the first smallmouth of the trip. Didn't take long at all. So it's raining quite hard now, but unfortunately this guy swallowed the hook. So I'm gonna take him home and eat him tonight. He's definitely a keeper, so no worries there. Uh, probably I'd say as long as my arm, so pretty good fish. I've never eaten smallmouth, so I'm excited to give it a try. I'm definitely gonna get drenched today. So I'm actually glad that I did not bring uh, my main camera along but it looks like we're having smallmouth for dinner. I'm not gonna let this guy go to waste. Quite unfortunate that he swallowed the hook, but it is what it is, and uh, we're gonna eat him today. It's another one. Man, they're on the munch today. Second fish of the day. Feels pretty good. Hopefully it's another smallmouth. I think it is. Come on, guy. Come on, little guy. He's not that big. Got him. In the net. Fish number two. Second smallmouth of the day. He was holding about the same distance from the 
from the bank as the other one about 10 foot from the bank about 12 foot deep subtle subtle bites you really have to uh to watch out for all i was feeling was some weight on the line very very subtle bites beautiful fish though thank you so much little guy the nedrick strikes again such a good uh lure for a smallmouth it's a tadney jig head and a three inch senko or two and a half inch senko i'm not really sure of the length probably like two inches Oh, there's another one. Feels a lot smaller. But that's a third fish. Oh, it's not too bad. Oh, I think I think this one's a largemouth. Interesting. Yeah, it's a large. It's a largey. Ooh. There you go. That's the third fish, largemouth bass. Look at that. Beautiful largemouth bass. Mountain largemouth. Awesome. Holy shit, dude! Oh my goodness! A freaking snapping turtle just bit my. A snapping turtle just bit my, my, my fish. I don't know if you saw that, that was crazy. Oh my goodness, that's crazy, bro. Did he actually kill him? Because he actually bit him. That's crazy, I, I was just giving my bass a drink and a snapping turtle came and I absolutely destroyed him. It's a rough world, it's a rough world down there, buddy. I wish you good luck. I'm sorry for the for that crazy snapping turtle. I'm definitely not gonna put my hand in the water, so I'm just gonna quickly let you go and hope you make it. See ya, thank you. There he goes. another one <laughs> this is so much fun oh I see him it's a large mouth I think it's a large mouth come to this side buddy I'm gonna net you stop jumping Yes, I got you. Well, that's the second largemouth of the day. About the same, uh, about the same size as the last one. There's a huge drop off right here. It just goes down very quickly, and the fish are just like hogging uh, the wall. Oh, that's another one. That one hit it a little bit harder. I don't think he's that big, but, but it's another fish, so that's good. Are you a small mouth or a large mouth? Another largey. Another largey in the net. Another pretty good fish. Still hitting the net rate quite good. This rain just hasn't stopped, but uh, the fishing's good. Wow, that was quickly. <laughs> Land this one. We lost the last one. Oh, 
Oh, it's a jumper. Can we both flip this one? I think we can. There you go. Another pretty small mouth. Just gonna quickly release this guy because he wants to go. There he goes. Oh, that's another one. Large mouth or small mouth? Oh, large mouth. Seems like it's a large mouth. Another pretty large mouth bass going back. It's about 2.30 p.m. already. I've been fishing for about six hours. I got myself a few fish uh, and the bite has completely died down. So I think I'm gonna head back up the creek, put the kayak away, prepare the firewood to cook up the smallmouth tonight. This is uh, gonna be the least fun part about this whole launching this kayak in here. It's pulling it back up this creek. All right, let's go. Nothing to it. So I just finished cutting all of my wood, but I'm not gonna cook my fish over the fire today because I wanted to cook it out here. So I'm gonna be using the gas stove in order to do that. I'm getting hungry, let's get started. Not the prettiest uh, fillet job ever, but it's a very pretty fillet. A little more salt and more pepper. Oh yeah, that is looking good. Alright, time for the fish. Well, would you look at this? A meal with a view. Here's a delicious fish taco for y'all. Cheers. Mmm. Oh yeah. Very, very good. Definitely not as good as the trout, but still pretty good. Caught, cooked, and enjoyed in the most absolutely beautiful place. Mmm. That was the perfect way to end a couple of amazing couple days of fishing. This was a little bit of a different video guys. I don't usually do catch and cooks and it was a little bit of a longer video. So definitely let me know if you guys enjoyed by hitting that like button down below. And while you're down there, hit that subscribe button for some more awesome Maryland fishing content. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.